scoring in the NBA is easier than in Europe. We might have heard someone famous who had experience in both leagues shaking the internet with this statement. More physicality allowed, less space inside the arc and no free second rule would be the main arguments for Luca's statement. But at the same time, having to deal with this kind of environment in Europe at such a young age is what made Luka Doncic so ready for the NBA. Let's see exactly how the Euroleague is different and how it prepared Luka for success in the NBA. First of all, the European game is much more physical and defense orientated. Hand checking is a key element of every good defensive team here and you can see it constantly. Post ups, drives to the basket, pressing full court. Hands are involved all the time and fouls are called only if you use them excessively. The NBA changed this rule a while ago, changing the game completely. Not only did it make it extremely difficult to defend the superstars, it was also one of the main factors why the league is now dominated by guards. No hand checking rule allowed more clean penetrations to the rim, a rare sight in Europe. At 18 years old, Luca had to cope with defenders harassing him all over the court, who used their hands trying to keep him as close as possible. Fouls were called not as often as Luca would have wanted, but it was a perfect training for the next step in his career. When you go from being defended like this, to a league where it's illegal to do something similar, naturally it's easier for you to play the game. Everything slows down, or at worst, you get to shoot easy free throws. Not a bad trade in my mind. This season, the NBA introduced a change of rules and is trying to get away from cheap foul calls while allowing more physical play and we already see a huge impact it has on some superstars. However, it's nothing new for Doncic who went through European school early in his career and saw much worse. Defensive play by Rodell, who's gonna get to that ball? And Lon Doncic gets to it as <laughs> two Barcelona players go for it, but somehow or another, the youngster smells it out and picks it up himself. Oh, 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 no, he didn't! And the Felipe Reyes, no! Another difference, and probably an even bigger one, is spacing. The three-point line in Europe is closer to the rim by half a meter, so you automatically have less space inside to drive. On isolations up top, something that Luca loves to do often, players from the sides can stunt much more easily closing gaps to drive. So if you don't have an outside shot, or you are a poor shooter off the dribble, it's extremely difficult to become an elite scorer and player in Europe. But for Luca, this is where he excelled and became unstoppable. Crazy step backs, long frees and tough tough shots from outside went in like it was nothing and started the buzz around his name that later converted into the third overall pick. The non-existent free second rule in the Euroleague also gives a huge importance to your game vision and finishing around the rim with contact. Add the shorter three-point line and you have a situation where 99% of the time there is at least one person protecting the painted area. So beating your own man and creating advantage is just the first step, while in the NBA sometimes it's all it takes, especially in the regular season. There, you play against better athletes, but they can't use their hands, which is a huge disadvantage, and rim protection might be too far away since it's illegal to stay in the paint and everyone is shooting freeze nowadays. Remember about shorter distances to stun from the sides because of the court differences and you might be getting the idea why Luca's statement was right. It's enough to just take a look at this almost zone setting by Fenerbahce when Luca went for an isolation. Euroleague's way of playing forced him to find, innovate and master new ways of scoring outside, without whom he might not have been so successful in the first place. Finally, being the most dangerous player on the court, Luca saw all the different pick and roll coverages – drop, hedge, under, ice, double, switch, you name it. And they all have diverse solutions to them, with Doncic having to make right reads quickly. Perfect example against hedge. He retreats back a couple steps, keeping his dribble alive, only to attack as soon as the big man goes back. Then he serves a beautiful no-look pass to fool the low man on the weak side. Hedging was the only way to take the ball away from Doncic, but it didn't do any good since his passing is as good as his scoring. The hedge here is not perfect, but Luca's skip to the corner is. Strong, precise and creating advantage. Against other pick-and-roll defenses, 
he preferred to decide the outcome himself. Player thinks the screen is too high and goes under, that's an immediate three-point attempt. That's how much confidence an 18-year-old had and still has as it remains the usual solution versus under coverage. On switches, he looked to dance against opponents, changing pace, changing directions. His goal was to get closer to the basket, but because of the reasons mentioned before in this video, it wasn't always possible to do that. Had a look at the rim, finds Tavares instead. Real Madrid double the rebounding numbers of Panathinaikos. Doncic passes brilliantly out of the double. Drop was the usual coverage he saw in the Euroleague. The one he sees the most in the NBA too. The one he attacks the same way he learned to attack in Europe. Defenders miscommunicate when Doncic gets deep and doesn't switch. Nice drop of pass seals the deal. Opponents do better next time on deep switch, but the low man is tagging the roller in the paint, say goodbye as he creates advantage by skipping it to the weak side. When low man is not in his place, and his teammate up top is worried about it too much, easy read and a kick out to 45 degrees. Euroleague gave Luca different tests each game, and he delivered the highest results every time. When he knew that the big guy defending in drop was a bit weaker one, he liked to keep it himself, attacking with a variety of moves and using the screen from his teammates. And obviously, this is where we first saw by now his trademark move against drop, hostage dribble, where he keeps his defenders on his back and denies them from coming back to the picture. He is a tall and heavy guard, so this move is a deadly combo with his measurements. Just ask the Clippers, I think they might know a thing or two about it. It takes someone utterly special to dominate the Euroleague at 18 years old. With all the physicality, all the hand checking, limited spaces to attack, with a defender always in the painted area and the different pick and roll defenses you might see in front. No shock to me, he thinks it's easier to score in the NBA. Luka Doncic completed the European basketball course with the championship and an MVP trophy and it prepared him for the best league in the world in the best possible way. Let me know if you agree in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video.